Hi folks, week two of Rizo 15. Week one passed, it was awesome. There was art and some fantastic blog posts, some really heart-rending blog posts, some really good work that people are doing. Some people who are riding the wave and saying, give me more, give me more, and other people are holding their heads going, where's the structure? I guess the answer is somewhere in the middle. Uh, the structure is something that you kind of have to make for yourself. My best advice is to find somebody who sounds like you and try to make a connection that's gonna work. Find something that you can work on and focus on. In an effort to try to work some of that in there, I thought maybe we'd take a little bit of a twist this week. When I said a practical view of rhizomatic learning, what I was imagining doing is answering some of the questions and some of the comments that I've had people say to me over the years as I wander around trying to convince people that this is a good story for learning. And one of the things that always comes up is measurement. How am I supposed to measure this? How are we going to know what people learned? Well, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, learning is a non-counting noun. It's not something we should think of counting. It's not something we should worry about counting. I don't think measuring it makes any sense anymore. So let's throw that out the window. After that, once we put that out the window, what's left? What are we going to measure? How are we going to use all these awesome tools that people have been posting? How are we going to use like all the other things that happen around the interactions between humans to put some kind of measurement to the process. Not necessarily a better or worse measurement, though that's okay. What can we measure? Let's put our minds out there and see if as a collective, we can't come up with some way of talking about using all these numbers and countings to come up with something really cool. So that's the challenge for this week. Look past learning, assume it's a non-counting noun, and dig in to the possibilities of measurement. What can we use to send to administrators who need something from us? What can we use to feed back to students across a thousand, across a million people that's actually useful to them, that actually tells them something worthwhile? How can we map out the rhizome, give people a tool to map their own rhizome, a framework, a conception, something for people to be able to see where they're at and what they can do? Um, I understand there's dissonance in this. Like, I understand that it conflicts with the freedom, but work with that. Um, I hope we have another great week. I'll see you all on the internet. Cheers.